Hello everyone. So today we are with one new contest which is Code Forces Educational Round 124 Diff 2 and yeah it is going to start, uh, start right now and all the best to you all. Hope it will go so nice. Fine. So yeah it is getting started. Fine. It has started. Let's enter to the area. Fine, let me do this job. Okay. Fine, so let's read the first question. What this question is saying to me. Okay, the number of test case. This test case contain one line of integer n. Okay, for this test case, print the index of the winner of the tournament. Fine. It's a playoff tournament where two and athlete compete. Okay. Athlete are number from one to two and the tournament is held in n stages. Fine. Tournament is held in n stages. In each stage, the athlete okay, total n stages. In each stage, the athlete are split into pairs. In such a way that each athlete belong exactly to one pair. In each pair, the athlete compete against each other and exactly one of them win. The winner of each pair advance to the next stage. The athlete who was defeated gets eliminated from the tournament. The pairs are formed as follow. In the first stage, athlete 1 will compete with athlete 2, 3 with 4 and this all things okay. Like that. The winner of the match 5 by six compete against the winner of the match okay okay and so on fine uh, when athlete x and y compete the winner is decided as follow x plus y is odd the athlete with the lower index will win if x plus y uh, when athlete x and y compete the winner is decided as follow if okay the athlete higher index okay fine the following pictures describe the way the tournament with n equal to 3 okay fine the task is to find the following given the uh, n determine the index of the athlete who win the tournament it's like some bit manipulation question it is 2 ki power 30 the highest could go it's fine so what we can do here is if you observe the things 3 Eight teams are there. So who will win? Even odd then again even Okay, so the answer would be 2n 2 raised to power 9 n minus 1. The answer would be like that. And yeah, it is valid for all. Let's find for 1. When the n value is 1, the answer would be 1 only. 2 minus 1. And 2, if it is 2. 
so on that case what will happen two and if n is one so two so one will win yeah it's fine to print this so let me put here uh, what would be our output so our output would be answer would be our n minus the output until so let me put here Okay, seven one. It's giving me right. And let's check for n. N is two. N is two to four total are there. So one, two, two, three. So we'll win one and two. One, two, three, four, three and one. Who will win? Three will win. Yeah, it would be fine. And let's check. Let's check it out. Okay, that worked. So let's move to another question. Uh, what the another question is saying? Prove him wrong. This end. Uh, the first line put the number of test case okay but the first only line of each test case contain a single integer n length of the array An integer n the length of of array yeah two five one two the first and only line of each test case contain single the length of the array okay for each test case, if there is no counted example array A of size and print no. For each test, if there is no counted example array A of size and print no. Okay, counted example. Otherwise, yes, followed by the array A itself. If there are multiple counted example, print any. Okay. Recently, you find discover one special operation on an array A. Choose two indices i and j, which should not be equal. Set ai equal to aj as ai minus aj mod after playing with this operation for a while he came to the next conclusion for every array a of n integers where a okay you can find a pair i comma j such that total sum of a will decrease after performing the operation you can find a pair of indices i comma j such that the total sum of a will decrease after performing the operation the statement should sound fishy to you you want to find a counter example for a given integer n can you find such counter example and prove him wrong in other words find an array a consisting of n integers such that for all pair of indices performing the operation won't decrease the total sum it will increase or not change. Fine. So let me see two. Yeah, we can. If sum is 338. Uh, if we do this operation also, 330, it would be 336, 336. It would increase. And 512. 
if the element is alone so ha uh, yeah but it had said okay 512 total 512 numbers are there and print yes 3 for 3 it would give okay so we need to find an array of n elements as in counter example so what we can think like we can put one big number and one small number so the difference would be big that we can think about it if it is 3 so total 3 elements we needed one small and one big so what we can think about here 1337 and 512 uh is there no number means like no array is there which encounter it so let me do in one note so for better clarification what we can think here is like Wait a second. We can think here is like if we have two numbers, so if the difference is no between them, so we can find. Applied for n equal to two. If it's three, uh, let's do like some mathematical calculation. A two till if it's go. till an it would result as some sum fine and else what we can do for every pair they are same so we can assume this is the lowest and this is the highest if we do between them pairs so it would result as increase if we do between this pairs fine between this pairs so it will not ultimately this would decreased and yeah here it could be anything like yeah maybe a result of both if it is 3 4 so both will decreased
what we can think. Let's silently think. If we talk about four, so we can have any number. Then thirteen, fifteen, what we need, we need only one to encounter this. Okay, what in other words, fine, it's just that all pair of indices won't decrease the total sum. Okay. If I do a 12, so 15, 16, 17, 18, it's sum. So if I do this here, so it will increase only, not decrease. If I do with him, so it would result me to increase, it will rise and ultimately the sum would be positive. The sum is getting 13, so it will result me, what, 11 plus 11, 22, so it's nice. If I do with this, so it will give me 10 plus 12 or 10 plus 10, 20, it will increase. Then it would give me 9 plus, how much? 9 plus 9, sorry, 18. So it is increasing here. In this case, if I see 1 and 2 giving me 3, 1 and 2 giving me 3, fine, 1 and 2 giving me 3. So if I do the operation 2, it's coming so here it's fade fine here it's fade okay So, what we can think here in this question? Total elements of arrays, this. There is some logic. n is 2 there is a case 3 is also having case 4 ultimately let's say sum it any area having sum fine so what would be minus here
टू इन टू फाइव टू प्लस Ultimately, we need to check for 2i minus 2j. It should be greater than or equal to ai plus aj. This condition should favor for every i comma j. So 2i minus 2aj equal to ai plus aj. So ai less than equal to 3aj. Fine. So yeah, if this condition is satisfied, so it is possible. So we should make a multiple of three. We can say. For n equal to two, we can make one, three. Fine. So their difference is how much? Two. So four. Yeah. If we see for n equal to three, so we can make one, three, six. AI should be multiple of three to the power multiple of AJ. So no, no, here it would be nine. If it would be six, so what it's giving me? So it's giving me one and three is giving me four. So it's perfectly fine. Three twos are. Three twos are uh, two twos are four. Okay, it's fine. Nine six twos are twelve. Yeah, it's fine. So yeah, we can construct an array. But the condition is when to say no. That's an issue. Five one two. If we see this big number, or we can say if we need to print four. Sixteen. Okay. Ten and it is eight sixteen. Okay. Four. One three nine. One three nine and here it is twenty seven. So one and three giving me four. This is also right. Nine and twenty-seven. Nine is also giving me right only. What it is? Thirty-six. And here it is also thirty-six. That's giving me right. And if we see here also twenty-eight and yeah, twenty-six into two. That's all giving me right. So for four also it is satisfying. Why destroying no here? For five one two. This is three to power what? Three to power three. Three to power five one one. Three to the power five one zero. Uh, 
standard calculator i don't want scientific i want and here i want okay wait a second 3 to the power Three to the power how much five one ten this is so big Okay, so 10 is to power 9 3 to the power x so it could go how much 9 into 10 is to power it's ultimately how much 2 18 till 18 somewhat around 18 After 18, it wouldn't be. What is like? Let me calculate. If I do like 3 to the power 18, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, fine. 3 to the to the power 19 what does give me 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so what idea i have is and we had taken after that what i am going to do if is Greater than 18, no, because it couldn't give out because they have, but scientifically, it should give. That array for i equal to 0. I can I the output would be uh how three power how much I so let me print this let me see this. Yes, one three three nine nine and three uh okay Let's submit this. Let's see if it should it would work or not. Oh, wrong test two.
19 i think because if n is greater than n is about 19 so 0 3 to power 18 yeah till here it would, could come so i think let's again submit this otherwise maybe my logic is wrong I think my logic is wrong. Here my logic is wrong. When five one two couldn't come. If that thing is right, it's like it should be right. Oh, here is mod, the condition of mod, we forget. Okay, so... There is a case. When AI is greater than AJ, so mod will open like this. Otherwise, but the mod will affect anything. Yeah, it should affect inequality. Nothing more it had affected. That's the case. Three AI. How could we do this? And why it's failing? 
if there is bigger number also if n is power big also if the power of n is big let's read the question again uh okay recently discovered an special operation on array okay after playing with this operation for a while he came to the next conclusion Conclusion for every array a of n integers, you can find a pair i comma j such that total sum of a will decrease after performing the operation. This statement okay. Another word find an array a consisting of such that for all pair of indices i comma j, i comma j, all pair of indices. The form the operation won't decrease the sum it will increase the first and only line of each test case contain a single integer n the length of the array Five and two, it is giving us no for this big five and two array. There is no possibility. How it is? How it would be? There is no possibility for this. Both case the total sum increase, so the array A is a counter example. If you perform the operation on indices i comma j or two comma one, you will get a one. This is my array for n equal to four. It is right now. Two, two is a four. It is. It is. If we do this, eight. It is giving me and sixteen ten. Okay, it's fine. Then if I see twenty seven and three, so twenty four into forty eight. Then this is also giving me right. And we get the way spring this. Five and two. Why it is not possible for five and two? Array element max to max could go here. Consisting of n integers, such that all pair of indices won't decrease the total.
brute force we can use here but but why we will use brute force here For every array of an uh, a of an integer where a is this. They he had also specified the elements of a that it would be this only. Fine. So here you need to find out. There is a limit for an number of elements of A. That A could be till here only. Could go till here only. That means my logic is, I think, right only. What the thing I am doing wrong here is if n is greater than 19, fine. can't go 3 to the power 19. Okay, it is giving me right three, five, six. Okay, twenty two.
19 that is fine what it had said that 8 should be from 1 to 10 is to power 9 so if I do calculation here like on my calculator so scientific it is not so 3 to the power 19 sorry 3 to the power 19 if i put sorry 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 it is giving me result how much 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 which is greater than this It is same as here. Okay. Twenty two. Three to the power twenty one, it could go. Let's submit this. Hope this will work properly. Otherwise, we will move to another question. No problem. Sometimes it had happened. Yeah, it's giving me the wrong answer. Let me do one more thing here. Changes. It's 18. For 18, it's fine. Let's see here. Okay, so 
okay it is greater than 19 we had checked already so it hadn't worked okay so no problem uh, we will see this later now let's move to the c question condition so all had solved but still i left don't know what had happened okay fault tolerant network there is a classroom with there is a classroom with two rows of computer okay first line contain number of test cases the first line of single uh, first line of each test case contain n the number of computer in each row 3 the second line of n integers oh, wait a second the first line okay the number in each row the second line contain n integers the grade of computer in the first row the third line contain n integers the grades of computer in the second row is guaranteed the sum of uh, okay okay first line contain single integer the number of test cases the number first line of each test case contain uh, the single integer the number of computers in each row the grades of computer for each test case print a single integer the minimum total cost to make a fault uh, tolerant network okay there is a classroom with two rows of computer there are n computer in each row and each computer has its own grade computer in the first row okay initially all pairs of neighboring computer in each row are connected by wire Initially, all pairs of neighboring computers. Initially, all pairs. Okay, we have pair of neighboring computers in each row are connected by a wire i comma i plus one. For all this, so two rows form two independent computer network. So two rows. Your task to combine them in one common network by connecting one or more pair of computers from different rows connecting the ith computer from the first row and the jth computers from the second row such that okay from the second row cause this you can connect one computer to several other computer but you need to provide at least basic fault tolerance okay you can connect one computer to several other computers but you need to provide a, at least basic fault tolerance you need to connect computer in such a way that the network stays connected despite one of its computer failing. In other words, if one computer is broken, the network won't split into or more parts. The, this is the minimum total cost to make. That is the minimum total cost to make a fault tolerance network. The minimum total cost to make fault tolerance. Connecting the ith computer from the first row and the jth computer from the second row cost this. You can connect one computer to several other, but you need to provide at least a basic fault tolerance. You need to connect computer in such a way that the network stays despite another vertex. Okay, that is the minimum total cost to make fault tolerance network. Okay, okay. Means if we are connecting to means from single to many others. Fine. So you need to give some fault tolerance network, some fees. So in the first test case, it's optimal to connect four pair of computers. Computer one from the first row with the computer two, so that our cost would be like this. That computer three from the this would connect to this. Okay, computer second 
in the first two okay okay basically we had come we had calculated to connect one connect one from the first row with one from the second row and four from the first row and four from the second row Computer in the first row has created this and the second row this. Initially all pairs of neighboring computer in each row are connected to the pair of okay. The task is to combine them in one computer network, common network by connecting one or more pair of computers from different rows. Your task is to combine them in one computer network by connecting one or more pair of computers from different rows. Task is to combine them in one computer network. Printers, connecting the ith computer from the chief okay so let me let me show illustrate that how it could be like this if we have computer let's say a1 a2 a3 this all are connected to each other like this then b1 b2 b3 this all all this both is also connected to each other if they do this so it could be possible fine otherwise Uh, how he had it in this case this this and he used greedy approach basically this this so they are connected interconnected to each other Because one and twenty would cost more, one and four would cost less. Okay, like that it would go. then a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 this is all are connected to each other fine so here what did happen this first it had complete uh, connected to this then it had connected this uh, no they had connected what what does this signifies if I if 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 I do this 
so it would give me like this I connect it oh, this both are not connected this I think this question is from graph. I am guessing this. Topological something like that. And maybe not. But the biggest thing is like second question why it hadn't i can't able to solve that question but the logic i was missing that i'm not getting the strike the thing is that no that not coming so fastly for me We need to make a cycle, you can say. Some greedy approach, we can think. 1, 10, 24, 5, 25. Okay, so, yeah. In this I'm not able to think too much. Here is excluded point. Okay, let's focus on B only, which we are not able to do this question. So let me focus more. Recently your friend discovered a special permutation. Harry choose to indices such that set this after playing with this operation for a while he came to the next conclusion that for every array a of n integers there are total how many integers n integers where ai is this between this the range of here is given you can find a pair of indices such that total sum of a will decrease on the operation I am a little bit of 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 a little b
Okay. The basic condition is AI should be greater than or equal to 3 of AJ. AJ could be anything, could be anything. How we can think in this question? What what is happening here? It's getting. This is the worst rank ever I got here. <laughs> Before that also it had happened. If there is no counter example array A of size n, print no. Otherwise, print yes followed by the array A itself. If there are multiple counter example, print any.
what thing I'm doing wrong here? For each test case, if there is no counter example array A of size and print no. But in this range, it is not possible. There are the logic also clicked, but after that, also means like I stuck here. At a time only one now, one is possible now. Choose two indices. Performing the operation after performing this operation. Is that A will decrease after performing the operation? You can find a pair of indices i comma j such that the total sum of A will decrease after performing the operation. There are multiple counter example print any. How could we think about this? It could be Okay. I'm printing no. Why? Because it is exceeding the limits. It is exceeding the limits. That is the reason I printed here print for 19 so what does this give this is giving me this 38742 3 point something into 10 to power 8 it is giving me fine which is less than 10 raised to power 9, 1 into 10 raised to power 9. It is less than. If I do for 20, okay, let me set here also. Now. So here also 1.1 1 
into 10 raised to power 9, 1.1 it is giving me. Uh, but uh, one thing I need to notice. Wait a second. 3 raised to power 19 is giving me what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, This is that This is the case. For 19 it should work. Why it is not working? Three, four, five, six could be anything. Oh God, means like what is happening? Every time this is the case, like I stepped somewhere very badly. And the result is that at the end also I'm not able to cope up the things. What the things is happening? What it could be? Seriously, I'm not getting like how could we do this? Means like it's exceeding the limit of AI. So on that case, I'm printing no. So what's the wrong in this? I seriously found nothing when say wrong but it is wrong I know that also
if you hear memory checking for memory checking everyone can come let it be we will try at least 30 minutes we have so let's try this only see only bind them in Ads of computer. See the computer from the second row post. If one computer is broken, the network won't split into or more parts. That is the minimum total cost to make a fault tolerant. The grades of computer in the second row, the grades of the computer in the first row. There is a classroom with two rooms. Here, how I can do the C question is also.
B only, <laughs> B and C, how we can do. The length of uh, array A, uh, for each test case, if there is no counter example, array A of size and print no. You can find the pattern. This is fish. And it's still thousand. You can't find a SQL array or uh, like this is applied. So one, two, okay, not then it is like four and eight. <laughs> four and eight is giving how much? is nine if it is The logic is perfect only. Then also, what it's happening? People can't see funny. Look someone in the
I am fixing some small small things. Let's check that it's working or not. Fine. Yeah. Small small things I'm means like now I am like doing some what we call tukka type of thing. Means whatever it would it would work so worked like that one type of things I'm doing. Fine. So let's see that how is it going on. This taking so much time. I think it had hang I think I need to close this all things. I don't know if it's going right on. I think some issues had occurred in network. Not in network, I think server only. It is going slow. Let me close everything and now let me open this. Okay. Hmm. Is that question? Again, <laughs> I know that what happened.
ones should be interconnected. So by we should find such an array that can decrease its sum exactly once. Yeah, I am doing exactly one also only. That operation I am doing exactly one time only now, and it is valid for all. Yeah, what's the thing is wrong there? The thing is wrong. This not this C question. I'm like not able to think on also like how it is. I know it's a greedy approach in which we need to short the things. After that, we will do some pairings. Yeah, let's do this. I'm doing C means. At least attempting and something could happen or not. What would could be the orientation of any connected? This fine. Another orientation could be. This is always there. We can say this is connected. No, we can't say anything here that it is connected. Yeah, this is we can say this is connected. What the thing is like every at least three or four, at least three or four. 
every this node we can say it should connect with three or four and like here two is there so it can go till three or maybe it should be greater than two it is compulsory except first condition fine if it is in two that's also fine but at least last one should be greater it should not be one one only one to connect it fine it shouldn't be the case Yeah, something I getting. Uh, I'm getting like one, ten, one, twenty, four, twenty-five. The only thing this is connected, so no problem here. But this is the thing. Fine. They both are alone, so I need to connect between any of them. So let's connect this with him and him. The smallest one we will connect. Okay, it's nice. Now this both are left. Fine. What we will do? Yeah, I got it. This question. I mean, now something it had clicked in my mind. Fine. So, what we are going to do? To see, there is a case. Yes, there would be a case. Hmm. Let me. Code it, code it, code it, code it, code it fastly. Uh, okay, so we have taken the input. It off and it off and we are going to put This is like okay. If let's declare this an uh, vector. There is a vector and a dot TV. So it is fine. Similarly, we will do for this also. Here, I am going to this. And after that, what I'm going to do? It's a grand another in comma t. It would be equal to a. It would be equal to b. Then it is dot c dot c comma t dot and Uh, e dot in e dot and what would be the condition? First condition. Let me see that a of zero. Fine. Can say for a of zero, what would be the condition? That's c of zero it's equal equal to can say b uh, t of zero is equal equal to what? 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 P of zero. This is the case. So we got the pair for him. Fine. 
for him yeah for him we had find the pair which is a of 0 plus a of 0 we had find the find something for him fine another condition p of for now for this what i will do Yeah, there is a cases some cases could be there if 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 p of if p will go for d of 0 plus 0 to minus 1 of this will also go now so n minus one will go with four this will also go b of n minus one will will go with him uh, not him uh, so, shortest for fine so for that case this is smaller than whom? This is smaller than whom? Okay, let's see. Here, I'm going to draw these things. First condition when this is the case, this type of case. Second condition would be that if shortest one is somewhere here, Both shortest let's take the case one of the case let's see what could be the max sum and then sum with the max which is zero, zero if it go with whom zero. fine clearly a of n minus 1 to go with p of 6 fine similarly now this had came after that what b of 0 will go with whom p of 0 similarly p of n minus 1 will go with c of 0 this is the maximum sum that could possible this is the maximum sum not it will be the answer, but it is a maximum sum that could be possible. Fine. Now, we will, let me put the conditions. Fine. If you could imagine that what you are considering b of 0 is equal, equal to b of 0, what would be the case? Like, b of 0 is like this and and. b of 0, what was consisting is like. Yeah, c of 0 what he was considering is equal to what a of 0 so on that case what you will do yeah it would be fine so what you will do is like if both are matching so our operation would be reduced
we will get the thing like a of zero, b of zero. Similarly for the him also, b of n minus one plus a of n minus one. This would be the case. Hmm. Oh, it they want the minimum. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, let's get it. This question is also not basically that much hard, what I had thought. The time is going on now, so that is why I am fearing somewhat. Okay, so. From some what we we can decrease. Some duplicates had came. This be that and which we was thinking that it was that would also decrease this minus. And like this, which we had counted more than once that time, we will decrease. Guess what? Else? Uh, this and So on that case, what you need to do? Else, 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 else when uh, Okay, here what I will do. Here I am going to find else what we found. Nothing. Let me see this. This is working or not. Twenty-five. It is coming. Why? 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 Three. This three six. Then for him. 
Oh yeah. We had encountered this two times. Yeah, this logic is working. We'll do, I will do. Now the contest is also over. Okay, fine. Very bad contest for me. Too much bad contest for me. Uh, 11,000 rank. Worst rank ever I got. Fine. Okay, let it be. Uh, some problem I think I did in big problem. I will look it over it in uh, absolving and also we will do C question also. So that's for that's all about this so okay thank you goodbye tomorrow is also contest so we will do our best